Ladies and gentlemen, Team Matt versus Team I Don't Know. Welcome to Rialto. First map is going to be... Is it Rialto? Or are they going to keep moving back? Anyway. No, they don't know. Pick the map. Oh, man. Anyway, Team I Don't Know, you're going to see Impulse, Mercy, Captura, Hot Garbage, Death Blade, and... Vez. Team Matt, you're going to see Matt, Sombra, Cole, I'm going to call him Beast, Serenaded, and The Rizzle. I love the changes that they did to Lunar Colony here because there didn't used to be a... Uh, it was a little too open on the defense where this first, this uh, walkway here didn't have these covers they could go. So now Widow, who you will usually be on a defensive team or some kind of sniper, is going to have a lot of cover they're going to be able to use uh, to snipe the enemy team who usually, who now has to almost, use this uh, pathway to go down and around. There is no longer a underneath where there used to be, at least not the, the entrance that you're used to. There used to be an entrance right here. They went into the lower area. They would have to push past that to get here. We'd give them a little bit of cover, probably give the Ryan some time to recharge a shield, and then get onto the point. I like the changes. I think it added a little more uh, defensibility, a little bit more attack ability patterns because it was pretty stagnated. There used to be an exit from a room underneath here. They instead added stairs to allow the def defending team to go up to the here to the walkway. So again, the exit used to be right down here where that door was. But they changed it so the path could be here to, for then the attacking team to actually get go up and get the high ground and poke through here. There was a knee-high uh, wall here, to sh not to prevent being able to shoot inside, but now they're able to shoot inside from up here on the high ground. So whoever gets in charge of the high ground is going to be fine. So it's Team Matt on defense first. Team I don't know coming on an attack. We are seeing a triple tank, double support, and a this super divey from Team I don't know. We got Wrecking Ball Mercies, Winston, Zen, Diva, and of course Genji. Going in with the dive, we got Captura going in, trying to disperse them just a little bit, getting some good ult charge up to 30 already. They are going together. Therasol going down. Captura able to pick them off. Both Mercies down on either team. Matt going down. Looks like a, a team, I don't know, able to push through, even losing the Mercies, but even though the Mercies go down, they somehow were able to get through and with enough heals, or just by being super tanky, they're able to push forward. Again, they're going triple tank with a Mercy and Zen healing and a, a Genji hopefully to get in the super back line. They did a good job by initiating with the Monkey, followed up by uh, the Wrecking Ball Man. Wrecking Ball is having good, good use here on attack. I'm not gonna. I don't know if I'll see them much in defense, but they're all gonna be pushing this top right area. Impulse going in, missing his hook. Able to go out. Looks like the hook does not go on cooldown if you miss somewhere to go. They are doing a good job of moving forward. Captura Kesk goring in, trying to get some more damage in the back. They take the every. They are so mobile. This attacking triple tank is just super mobile. We got a KO can attack. Eh. Able to get double Sombra, able to get the double David Bomb. Vez getting lots of hits, but goes down by Matt. Matt, nice shot, sir. They're able to hold their defense. We got oh, all the tank, two tanks on the attacking team. We got a Mercy ult to hold them, to push them in there. Hot Garbage might be able to get his ult on the next push as well by the end. Deathblade with his own Diva Bomb. Uh, Sombra was able to get two people on hers, so we're going to see what luck we're going to have with Deathblade. They decided to go top left from the defensive side. Very nicely done. They are kind of spread out here with this defense. If the if the attacking team is able to focus on where's what? Diva Bomb getting nobody. But able to push off. We got it. Junkrat, Junkrat, Junkrat. Give me some bombs, give me some bombs. Oh! Impulse able to shoot down the bomb before it was able to find purchase with anybody. All the ults going on. Dragon Strike finds uh, Wrecking Ball. Good job, Matt. Matt being able to also get uh, Diva out of Mech finished off by Sombra. Somber. Somber or Sombra? Somber. Somber Blanco. Well done. A good defense coming out from uh, Team. I don't know. 
They're changing it up now. They have gotten off of Wrecking Ball. They've gone to a, the standard 2-2-2, two, 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 more or less. They have on uh, DPS, they're going to go with the Hanzo and the Genji, being able to flank. They've kind of got rid of their, their only flanker now goes down into Genji. Of course, the Zarya Reinhardt, perfect uh, kind of meta version. Diva Bomb, hey, are they going to catch anyone? No, but that gets rid of the Rhine Shield, which means this push might stop. There's nobody really to protect. Hot Garbage taking out Serenade. Matt able to take out Impulse. That's his one for one. Mercy gets the res on both the healers. So now the defending team has both heals up, but they're both going down. Venz getting able to Dragon Blade again, getting Sombra down, or getting Diva down out of her mech. Kicking her butt. Looks like the attacking team with that change is getting a tick. Going up to two ticks. Are they going to be able to contest? They need to contest maybe with the last moment and then get... Oh, i not be able to get on the point at the end. It seems that the idea behind behind team I don't know was to do that great switch from going the triple tank dive to instead seeing that team Matt was uh, kind of expecting the dive went to a more traditional Rhine Zarya slow steady push uh, get picks off with the uh, Hanzo letting Vez get up all the way in the behind and. Get off with the Dragon Blade, getting one and a half people with his Dragon Blade. And it just didn't seem like the defense was not prepared. They were expecting a bunch of dives, so they were spread out a little bit. And then they got more or less uh, well played on both sides. So Team I Don't Know able to get the full cap. Well done. Here we're going to see... They're going to try it out. Looks like Team Matt's like, you know what? That looked really great on that first push, on the first uh, point. We're going to try a triple tank. Dive, dive, dive. They're going to instead, instead of the Mercy Zen, they're going to go with a uh, Lucio and Anna. Anna going to be the immobile one. Hopefully somebody will be able to come back and help her out because, well, it looks like Vez is going to be, on, it's going to be a defending Widow, a defending, Impo a defending McCree. A lot of Mercy and Zen just kind of being a staple now we're seeing. Mercy, even with her uh, incoming or already upcoming uh, nerf to her heal, 10% less per second, that res is just too important to not pick a Mercy. So I say, as the attacking team is deciding to go full dive with the Lucio and Anna. Anna not being too divey, but able to support from way in the back. And because the defending team doesn't have anybody to really answer the Anna except for D.Va, I'm wondering how well it's going to work. But again, triple tank coming out from attack. So they're probably going to wait for the monkey dive. Monkey dives in, puts down the shield, gets a good... Oh, 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 and goes down, unfortunate. Looks like he went too far in for the Anna to be able to heal him up. He dove just past what I believe would have been the sight line for Anna. Therosol goes down. Hot Garbage able to take out Wrecking Ball. Saying, you know what, Wrecking Ball? I have balls of my own. They've been around my neck for years and years, and your ball means nothing to me. Any change up? No, but we are going to have a... Is that D.Va at a mech bomb, or is that... No, okay. Making sure that that was not a D.Va. We have no ults on the attacking team, and they're all about half and half. Let's see what they th if they're going to change their tactics. Are they going to let the monkey go in first? They need to let Therosol have some sight lines when they go in. Otherwise, there's, there's almost no reason for the Ana to be working because Lucio is not going to keep them up. Good, good. They're pushing up, going up the side. Then the monkey goes in. Diva diving in, trying to support him. Monkey goes down. Diva gets out of mech. Beast able to find some purchase in the back, getting this main tank down. Grav, appreciate you coming in and hitting that fantastic host button. Truly appreciate that, sir. Those coming in, this is Spiftastic Me. I'm hosting and casting a wonderful tournament by some friends from the Court of Owls. This is map number one, We're all, and it's so far it is 2-0. Team, I don't know, your red team. And Team Matt, the blue team. I, and they did switch it up. Finally, the, the attack is realizing, you know, Wrecking Ball is, although he just came out today, nobody's practiced him enough to make a big enough impact. So they got off him, and Matt has now gone to Widow, hoping to pick off behind the Orisa shield, but that's not going to happen. Nobody's able to pick off, but a lot of defensive ults. No ults on the attacking team, just under two minutes left. 
looks like they might, they're getting shut down right now. The the Widow duels. Vez able to first take out the d attacking Widow and then get the the Mercy just after she was able to res Matt back up. Grab it again. Super appreciate it. Hope you had a fun string of games you had earlier today. Grabs girl. Wow, lucky you, man. Oh, Vez again. Vez dominating the Widow duels. Able to get one on one. That's the third kill in the last minute on the attacking Widow. They need to hold up. They need to hold up because they've lost both their monkey and Matt, who needs to walk all the way back. They need to reset, regroup. They need to get. They have one, maybe two good pushes left. But with hacking walls, they're going to know exactly where they're coming from. Damage boosted. Oh, he knows exactly where the name boosted is. Peter, thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Following is uh, CNC, and then halls, walls finally go down. That's the point of time we want to see the attacking team move in. Diva way underneath. Monkey all by himself. They're going underneath, so the Vez has no sight lines. But right now, it's somebody needs to help the Zen get forward. Vez is making sure to watch for that Zen, not going to let him come forward at all to support his team. We got a high noon coming out. Doesn't find any purchase. Diva Bomb, are they going to get anybody? Diva Bomb able to get the Arista skill. Trans comes out from the defending team. Blue's fine. They're trying to push. They're trying to push. Team Matt's trying to get some kills, but Hot Garbage taking out the, the Genji. Matt getting a few things. It looked... Oh, man. They were, that was a fantastic push, but they only have eight seconds. They need to keep stalling, keep stalling, keep stalling. Otherwise, they are not. This is they need to get this point. One tick is not going to do it. Unfortunately, they got a foothold. They got a they got a kick at that last push. Finally, getting off the wrecking ball, which is either just being countered too well, or nobody's able to play her well and play him well enough. Surprisingly, play the game mercy by mercy. I appreciate all Mercy play the games. Keeping people just alive, res in the middle of a fight. And well done. Hammond is the new fun one. I'll say that. So that is. That was a fantastic game on uh, first game because it's going to be over. Second game will be starting soon. They're going to wait for someone to pick and we'll be right back.